me, Junie Benico, and I'm here with uh, Bruce Stavron. And we're here in Newport Harbor where we just finished the paddle. And we thought we'd do a quick video for you guys of how to paddle in the wind. Today we were facing winds anywhere from seven miles an hour to 10 miles an hour. And in some cases where the gust came in real strong, it was about 14 miles an hour. So we wanted to show you uh, a few techniques to get through the wind. Uh, that way, when you're out there paddling, uh, you're not gonna feel like a treadmill. <laughs> Say hi, Bruce. Hey, buddy. <laughs> All right, so Bruce is gonna demonstrate a few things for us. All right, guys, so Bruce is on his SIC board. And as you notice, he's uh, um, up right about where the handles are at right now, where his feet are. But if you're going against the wind, or if you're paddling through the wind, you want to get your nose buried into the water just a little bit more. So he's going to step up maybe about halfway up the handle here. Uh, he's always going to have his paddle in the water. Uh, it stabilizes you. So if he's walking up and down, always get that paddle in the water. Nose buried a little bit more in the water. Uh, that way he could head into the wind a little bit easier. The second thing he's going to do, he's going to bend his knees a little bit more. Okay, the, the lower you get, the better, all right? Just think about aerodynamics. And then the, finally, the third thing he's gonna do, he's gonna take short strokes, okay? So we're gonna have um, Bruce back up a little bit and he's gonna do really quick short strokes right there. Just really quick short strokes, quick short strokes, bending his knees. And if you notice, it's taking his paddle out right at his feet. So he's taking quick short strokes, bending those knees, getting low, really pushing down on that blade, but getting quick short strokes. And notice the water caught being off the top of his board there. One thing I forgot to mention is that always have your leash on. So you know, even though Bruce is an experienced paddler, he still has his leash on because that's because when you fall off, your board is going to go flying. The wind's just going to take it. So instead of swimming for your board, the leash are attached to it. At the very least, have a PFD. Now, if you can't get through the wind after doing all of that the next thing you want to do is you want to get down on your knees okay so slowly get down to your knees yep same point as your feet okay yep. yep there you go so as you notice he chokes up and again quick short strokes get through the wind okay keep your body low So let's say it's very, very windy and getting on your knees is not gonna help. The last thing you can do is you're gonna take your paddle, you're gonna put it right between your legs, like he's doing now, put it in front of you. That's a little bit more difficult on his board. And you're gonna lay on your chest and basically you're gonna prone board, okay? Swim back to your location or swim back until you get to a point where you can get back on your knees or on your feet. So here, Bruce is just proning. Now, once he's ready, he could get back to his knees, do short strokes again, and eventually back up to his feet. Well, we hope that helps you out in getting through the wind. Uh, thank you so much, Bruce, for doing the demo for us. I know the water is cold, uh, but hopefully that helps you out again. Nice short strokes, get your get the nose in the water, so step up a little bit more on your board. If that doesn't help, get down on your knees. And if that doesn't help, you put your paddle between your legs and then get down on your chest and prone board. Thanks guys, hope you have, have a good weekend.